I've been working recently on a brand new DVD that's coming soon to a bookshelf near you. Illustrator and Photoshop together, how we can use them together. That's not the official title. I don't know what the official title is yet, but it will be a DVD on how Illustrator and Photoshop work together. And in working on that DVD, came across an interesting little trick I'd like to share with you now. And that is when we're using smart objects from Illustrator in Photoshop. So here is my logo, very simple little logo I pulled together just for the purpose of demonstration. I'm going to select and copy that using the keyboard, switch to my photograph, and choose paste. And I will paste as a smart object, which is going to give me a nice link back to the original in Illustrator. So I'm going to scale it down to the approximate size that I want and position it and hit enter. But one of the problems we run into with vector smart objects is when you go to transform them, there's only certain transformations you can do. So if I press Command or Control T for free transform, and then I were to Control click or right click on PC, you'll see there's only a few options. Let me escape out of that and see what we could normally do is all these other transformations. Look, the key ones we really want to do, distort, perspective, and warp, are not available. And that's because you cannot do that to a smart object. Now, I don't want to rasterize it because I want to still keep the link back to the Illustrator original. Well, here's what I discovered. This is a vector smart object, which means it has that link back to Photoshop. But it's still possible to actually turn that into what amounts to a Photoshop smart object. So all I do is convert the vector smart object into a smart object. It's a little bit misleading, I guess, at first, because it still says vector smart object. That's just the name of the layer. But check it out. If now I do free transform, you'll see one of the options that's available. Look at that, the warp command. So now I can go ahead and do whatever. Let's do something pretty dramatic so you can see that I have, in fact, made a change to it. So I'll just do a little bit of warping here. Make Mr. Barker proud with my warping. Not really, because he does much better warping things than I do. But there's the idea. We hit Enter. So now imagine, for if you will, for a moment that we've done all this design and then the company we're doing this for says, you know what, we're not going to make it as a coffee shop alone. We need to sell more than that, more than just coffee. Well, normally you double click on a smart object to edit it, but check it out. In this case, you double click. That opens the vector smart object in which you also double click to go back to Illustrator. So now I can take my type tool, change it to something, whatever that might be, close it and save it. Notice this, here's my original logo. This was a copy of it, that vector smart object. Go back to Photoshop. This one has changed, which I now close and save, which of course will change that one. So it just adds an extra little step, but a very cool one because now it creates a live link to a smart object that we can also warp. So this is something that has some interesting possibilities when you start playing with it. Just have to remember that you've done it more than once. So you've added the Illustrator Vector Smart Object, which you convert into a Photoshop Smart Object. Check it out. It's pretty cool, I think. In this case, maybe pretty hot. All right, well, that last technique used some warping. So I'm going to do a bit more warping, try and make my pal Corey Barker proud with my ability, because I learned some pretty cool stuff from Corey. Watch this. If I warp this just the right way, Hold on, hold on. It's going to take me just a couple of steps to do this, like this, and just a bit of that. No, wait, and then wait. I got to do more like this, and sure enough, look at that. Ha! Huh. Amazing what you can do with the warp tool. I'm Dave Cross. Thank you very much.